Jose Luis, Mr. Rodriguez. Good morning again, Mr. Mayor, uh, commissioners. My presentation today is going to be focused on giving you a brief update on some position reallocations that human resources in conjunction with the affected departments are going to be recommending um, to you for consideration at an upcoming um, board, um, board meeting. Along those lines, I'm going to give you an overview of how the reallocation process works uh, and then go department by department on some of the reallocations that we are proposing and why we're proposing um, those reallocations and then we'll be open to any questions or comments that you all uh, may have. In summary, the Human Resources Department regularly conducts position uh, classification reviews. Uh, that includes looking at, and, and this is always done in conjunction with the specific departments that those positions report to. Uh, and this is uh, looking at job descriptions, the titles, we call them cl job classifications, but that's interchangeable with job titles, uh, and the position's pay grades. When there's operational needs of a department that warrant an update, uh, i.e., uh, uh, which we call a reallocation of specific job classifications and their pay grades, uh, we bring those updates um, to the commission, uh, and those updates are approved as part of what we call our salary plan um, for the year. Uh, and these updates are done at two points in the year. They're done as part of the overall budget approval process where we submit a salary plan for the entire um, range of positions in the city, but then periodically we may bring these items to the board uh, when operational needs of a department change so that you can consider it at, those, at that time as well. So with that review that we've done recently, uh, HR and the, poli the police, housing, community development, public works, finance, information technology, um, my department, HR, and the mayor's office are proposing reallocation of certain positions in order to ensure that the functions of those positions are properly aligned with the operational needs um, that those departments uh, need. Uh, we are looking to place these reallocations that I'm going to go into detail now um, on the August 9th uh, consent uh, agenda, as we've done for previous types of these types of changes. And I also want to clarify that these are just changes in job titles or changes in the pay grades associated to the job titles. They are not additions of positions to the city's FTE count. So we are not adding an FTE count or having that type of budgetary impact. It's just basically making sure that the positions uh, match uh, what the operational needs um, are for those positions. So the first department that we will briefly discuss is uh, Public Works. And Public Works is seeking to reallocate two Public Works uh, Technician 4 positions to two positions of lead Public Work Technicians. What that will do is that it will allow um, the career progression program to be implemented for that department. As you will recall, we have earlier had commission approval for other positions in the city that have different levels. And as uh, employees gain experience um, or certifications, they're able to progress, for example, from a utilities maintenance worker one to a maintenance worker two to a maintenance worker three. That's called a career progression. So this will add um, that level of career progression to the public works department. And it'll also, by making it a lead position, allow for the opportunity for internal candidates to be able to grow into a position that has supervisory uh, functions and, um, and skills, and that'll also achieve um, the ability of the department to have that position as a lead um, that can supervise and guide um, the other positions in the department. And that's the only change being um, proposed for, um, for public works. In the finance department, we have numerous um, classification uh, reallocations based on the current needs of the finance department. Um, we are proposing to reallocate a senior accountant position to a treasury supervisor position. The reallocation of two cashier positions to two accounting clerk positions. The reallocation of, a, of an accountant position to a senior accountant position. The reallocation of a collection specialist to an accountant position. 
Uh, and these are, uh, these reallocations are being proposed because after a review of the assigned tasks of the departments, there have been new uh, requirements that the, the finance department has had for uh, expanded uses of database and administering financial databases, uh, enhanced financial reporting, tracking uh, requirements. Uh, and that's why these changes are being recommended to ensure that those uh, positions that are, that are highlighted above in the first part of the slide um, meet um, the, have the job duties that correspond to the, what functions we actually need those positions to perform in the finance department. In the information um, technology department, the department is asking to reallocate a senior accounting clerk to a fiscal analyst position, uh, and that is to align the position to what the job functions are. Uh, the needed job functions and current job functions are, of that position are really that of a fiscal analyst, uh, not an accounting clerk. Uh, so this will simply update that um, job classification uh, title to match uh, what the current uh, and ongoing uh, needs and functions of that position are. In the Human Resources Department, we are proposing to reallocate a training and development specialist position to that of a senior administrative assistant. Currently, the Human Resources Department doesn't have a senior administrative assistant position um, like other departments do. So by uh, reallocating this position to that function, uh, the functions, the, the basic administrative functions of the departments will be able to be um, carried out by, um, by that position. In Housing and Community Development, uh, we are proposing a reallocation of the Community Development Programs Administrator to that of a Housing and Community Development Programs Manager. Uh, and this will enable the department to have that supervisory function. Um, that, was a, that position was in the department and it was uh, uh, mislabeled uh, during the, in, in the, as part of the FY21 budget. So this will update it to the proper um, title and function of what that position should be. And in the police department, we are proposing a reallocation of the police administrative services coordinator position, that is a civilian position, to that of a public information officer uh, position. And uh, we, we currently had, we had an officer that served as both an officer and a PIO for the department, but that officer has retired. Um, and in reviewing uh, this, uh, the needs of the position and the expanded role that public information is, is um, is having uh, with police related functions, um, um, uh, Chief Adderley and uh, HR and administration concluded that uh, reclassifying a civilian position to serve as a PIO is uh, operationally more efficient uh, and will better meet uh, the expanded needs of the department for a PIO. And the final uh, change that we're proposing is a reallocation of the pay grade of the chief of staff position from a pay grade 64 and which is the range is listed there, <clears throat> excuse me, to a pay grade 73. The reason why we're proposing this reallocation is because in the FY fiscal year 21, the responsibility of the chief of staff position and the economic development manager position were combined into one position um, having a, an expanded role of, uh, roles and responsibility that cover both jobs. Uh, but the salary grade for the position uh, uh, was not updated at that time. So given the expanded responsibilities, the appropriate pay grade for that position should be that of the economic development manager at a grade 73, because as, as mentioned, that position is really doing two jobs in one. They're, they're doing all the duties of the chief of staff and the economic development manager. And so with that, um, those are the summary of the reclassifications that we will be placing on the consent agenda for August 9th. And I'm open to any questions or discussion that you have on this item. Thank you. Questions from commissioners for Mr. Rodriguez? Oh, sorry, Commissioner Shove. Thank you. And thank you for the presentation. Um, just so that I make sure I understand, um, anything that we're recommending here today is not a, a difference besides the, the last one we just went over of kind of the combination of positions, but it is a reallocation of uh, an already established position to an elevated position, and sometimes there's an associated pay adjustment with that. Sometimes it's just a change in title. Is that correct? 
Correct. For for most of these, it's 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 or, or yeah, it's it's basically just reallocating the function of the position. Some of them are vacant. So, for example, the the housing and community development uh, position is vacant, so I wouldn't be able to speak as to the pay for that position. But for the other ones, it's just reallocating the job title. Uh, it's not increasing the FTE or having that type of budgetary impact. Okay, that was my other question too. Some positions are vacant, some are occupied, and so those who are in occupied positions are aware of these changes. Yes. That would occur yes, to their it'll, positions. Yeah, yes. it'll, IT is, a, is an example. For example, that that's a, a fiscal analyst, uh, the fiscal analyst versus the uh, the accountant position. That it, that function is already being performed, and this is just updating the title to match the functions that are being performed. Okay, and if I might, Commission President, I just have one more follow up. Sure. Um, as to um, the chief of staff position and the economic development director. Um, can you refresh me? When we went through the last budget iteration, I didn't recall the chief of staff position being within the last budget. Is that just something that I missed? Was that was approved as a position in our last fiscal year? Uh, that w what happened was is that the economic development manager position uh, was advertised was underfilled. Uh, as a chief of staff and the duties were combined because the chief of staff job title and job description was more accurate uh, but then the the economic development manager responsibilities were also kept as part of the position so it was basically a merger of the two positions rather than at rather than uh, what do you call this rather than recruiting a chief of staff and then also recruiting an economic economic development manager sure and I, I know what resulted I guess my question still goes back to I don't recall a chief of staff position being advertised in the budget. Am, am I missing it, Administrator? You are not missing it, uh, Commissioner Show. The chief of staff position was always in the city's salary plan. So when you look at the change in the mayors, the former mayor, as I understood it, had the chief of, of staff working in that capacity. Uh, mayor James, did not have anyone working in that capacity, although the position was always in the budget. And as we looked at balancing for FY21, uh, the funding for that position was not included in the budget. The position was in the salary plan, no funding in the budget. There was funding for the economic development director, change to economic development manager. Therefore, the mayor had to underfill the economic development manager, which was in the salary plan and funded in the budget. He had to underfill it with the chief of staff, which was an approved position, but no funding. So he took the funding from the economic development manager that was in the budget to underfill the chief of staff mm -hmm. that was in the salary plan without dollars. Thank so you. that's why you're not recalling it. Got you're it. correct. I, I appreciate that clarification. I guess the question I would have as it pertains to just this particular position being that it's now kind of a, a hybrid of two positions is if we could maybe see as a board what that position job duties would be since this is now essentially a new position, right? It's a hybrid chief of staff, economic development director, and if we could see what the job duties were, because certainly both, 100% of both jobs are not going to be able to be fulfilled by one person. So I'd imagine there's a segment of each job that will be eliminated with this, this kind of new category. Uh, yes, and in fact, we have the new job description uh, already developed when we uh, decided, when the mayor decided to do the underfilling and look at uh, both functions being consolidated. We revised the two job descriptions and consolidated them into one so we can provide that uh, to the commission that is already approved. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. And the position was advertised and that updated job description was, was advertised as, as, as part of the position. So That is correct. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions for Mr. Rodriguez? Okay. If no questions, thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. Thank you.